Hey guys, I'm Sun, I'm a privacy and security researcher, and you're watching The Privacy Guides. Uh, a few of you have started to send me emails, and although that's totally fine, especially if you have a more private question, I recommend for less sensitive questions, uh, I recommend you guys post them on the channel. You can choose you know, the episode that suits your question the best, and then just post it there. Uh, other people might have fantastic answers, and the community is growing on The Privacy Guides, so yeah better tap into that than just my brain. Um, so that being said, since you guys are starting to send emails in, I think it's the right time to talk about email and how email is shitty for privacy. The reason why email is so shitty for privacy is it's one of the oldest protocols on the internet. And it's definitely the one except for, you know, websites that has the highest level of adoption, therefore is the hardest to change. And a lot of people are trying to change the standards of email, but truth be told, I don't think that that's gonna happen, at least not in the near future. So uh, there's two problems that are very significant with email. Number one problem is we cannot confirm people's identity. Uh, I'm sure you received an email more than once that says that your bank has a problem and you need to log in to update your contact information, or perhaps you're using a provider I know I'm using SendGrid for some of my projects and I receive a whole bunch of scammy emails from SendGrid saying that my account is about to be shut down and I need to add a credit card or renew you know, a service. Um, those are called phishing attacks. So people are essentially uh, trying to get hold of your contacts, uh, not your contacts, or your credentials, and then they can hijack the account. Um, that's something that is solved in apps such as Signal. And if you haven't watched a Signal episode, you can have a look at it. I mean, they've implemented stuff cryptographically to make sure that we know that someone is who they say they are uh, if we had the chance to confirm their identity in person. The other big problem with email is the email protocol does not support end-to-end -end encryption. What that means is when you're sending an email to someone, here's what's happening. Your computer is you know, using your credentials through probably a, an encrypted channel to log on to your email provider. And when you're logged in, well, you can send emails through that email provider. So far, so good. Things are encrypted. That being said, as soon as the email is dispatched and it's on the, the, the servers of your email provider, well, it's no longer encrypted at all. It may be encrypted at rest, meaning that your provider is encrypting the information on their hard drives, but your provider or whoever subpoenaed your provider uh, or partners of your provider, well, they all have access to that content in clear text. So that's a huge problem because if you're sending a message to someone, well, in the best of worlds, only that person would be able to see it. And that's why uh, we're using Signal uh, and stuff like that. Now, email does not support that. So why I'm saying all of this is, well, if you're sending me an email that is sensitive or if you prefer not revealing to the whole world what the content of that email is, well, I would really recommend encrypting it using PGP. And that will be the subject of next episode, I believe. So if you wanna learn more about PGP and you're not a subscriber yet, smash that subscribe button and we'll get there. So key takeaways here is, uh, Email is not good. You cannot confirm someone's identity. You cannot end-to-end -end encrypt a message. Uh, your internet service provider, uh, if that's your email provider, they can see your emails. Google can see your emails. And if you're using a service such as ProtonMail that uh, pretends uh, everything is encrypted, blah, 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 they're actually using OpenPGP. Well, <clears throat> although they say this, if someone is sending an email to you from Gmail, well, what they've sent uh, is on Gmail servers and is in clear text. And now, although, even though at your end, things might be encrypted, when they answer back to you, that answer is on Gmail servers unencrypted. Therefore, email is really shitty for our privacy because the only way email can kind of work is if, for instance, you're using something such as ProtonMail and both ends use the same technology to encrypt messages then you get you know something pretty close to end-to-end -end encryption that being said uh yeah you know what i'll keep details for next episode when i'm going to discuss how you guys can use uh, pgp to encrypt your messages so that's all i have for you today i'll see you soon bye bye